Today's video is sponsored by just being upset and not knowing what to do with your feelings. Last week on This First That, we took a look at what was worse. Dying or never dying. You should go check it out while you're waiting for the silky smooth release of death. This week on This First That, the people have spoken and we're going to take a look at what's worse. Being popular or being an outcast. Being an outcast? Well, that's nothing I would know about. Being an outcast is worse because I would never want to be trapped on a desert island with a volleyball. You know, I, I'm thinking of uh, that Tom Hanks movie, Castaway. What a dump. Frankly, I don't see why anybody would not want to be popular. Who doesn't want an army of lower level people that you can boss around and they'll do whatever you want? Popularity is the devil's high heel shoe. One minute, you think you're doing fine. The next, something slips up and you're on your back and everybody can see your undercarriage. Cause the devil doesn't wear underwear. Popularity is worse because have you ever seen a whale with like a hundred fish stuck to the bottom of its belly? That's what it's like. Not that I would fucking know. Being an outcast is worse because then you gotta be seen with Andre 3000 and he's got a dirty underwear voice. Being popular is worse because when you're popular, everybody you're not friends with hates you. At least when you're an outcast, there's nobody there to hate you but yourself. When you're popular, there's all kinds of drama you gotta deal with, like friends and people talking and whatever. There's still drama when you're an outcast, but it's, is that blood in my stool? And does anybody really need to know about this kind of drama? So I asked you guys what you thought, and all oh, lo and behold, the internet had some opinions. Being popular is worse, cause all damn fuck boys and fuck girls, I don't understand the internet. What the fuck? Being popular is worse, because maybe you like eating people. At least when you're an outcast, you can eat people in peace. Being popular is worse because at least when you're an outcast, you can sit back and judge everybody who sucks. From watching High School Musical, I've learned that being an outcast sucks because all the popular people are trying to fuck all the outcasts. You know what? In all of my years of high school, that has never happened. Oh wait, yeah, no, sorry, I, I forgot about all of the times where that never happened in real life, ever. Being an outcast is worse because you have less opportunities. Maybe you don't want opportunities. Maybe opportunities aren't for you. Maybe the opportunities you like are when nobody's in the house and you get to touch yourself. You can touch yourself to whatever. The opportunities are endless. Popular is worse because everybody is around you all the time, always, and farting gets awkward when there's like 30 people around. Actually, uh, when you're popular, you have popular farts. It's a different kind of fart. Everybody's cool with a popular fart because it smells like potpourri. If a guy farts and he's alone in the woods and nobody's around to hear it, does it really matter if a little poop comes out? <laughs> Being popular is worse because it gives you a false sense of reality that doesn't matter after high school. It's a good, just a good point. Being popular causes drama and everybody knows who you fucked last night. At least when you're an outcast, nobody knows but you and the body. I mean, you never hear of a psychopath having drama after he fucks his meat puppets. Meat papier. <laughs> I'm trying to inject some class. Into <laughs> yeah. That. Being popular is worse because of all the responsibilities. I guess the only real social responsibilities an outcast has is cleaning up his meat puppets. Being popular is worse because that's when you know you've peaked and you can only go down from there. I don't know how that's worse than already being at the bottom, but okay. Being popular is worse because then you've got all the pressure to talk to everybody and make sure they're happy. I'm pretty sure that's the exact opposite of what popular people actually do. Actually, in, in fact, I'm pretty sure all the popular people go out of their way to make sure nobody's happy. And then that makes them happy which doesn't make anybody else happy. Science, bitches! Being an outcast so I could be edgy as fuck! Holla! Being popular is worse because of all the fake ass friends. Well, I've only got one friend who's a fake ass, and it's attached to my other friend who's a fake vagina. And I put it in there. Being a person everyone knows makes you a target for assholes. I, I guess when you're an outcast, the only asshole that targets you is your own when you're under a sheet. After high school, no one wants to talk to you. Well, after high school, all the people who were popular at my school ended up looking like they were standing in a funhouse mirror. Their heads got bigger, but their faces stayed the same size. I believe they call it the Haley Joel Osment disorder. Being popular is worse because if something embarrassing happens, then everybody knows about it. 
Well, I mean, if you have Twitter, you're usually tweeting the most embarrassing things that happen to you anyway. I mean, I'm one lonely night away from letting everybody know when I finish. Being popular is worse because when you're an outcast, you can do whatever you want and nobody will notice. That is until they look out the window and see you lurking in the bushes. It's like the movie Say Anything, but with jism. Being popular is worse because everybody wants to stick their dick in you. You know, in my time, I've known a couple popular cantaloupes. Alright, okay, okay, I have decided. Being an outcast is worse. I don't know why you wouldn't want to be popular. I mean, I would want somebody to be around to find my body before the wolves get it. Well, like the cats. They get the, the, the cats are the real danger. So, I, I don't know if you agree or disagree, but you could feel free to leave a comment below and it'll change nothing. NOTHING! It will change NOTHING! And if you've got an idea for next week's This First That, you could also leave that in the comment below. I don't fucking... I'll look at it. I don't care. Whatever. If you see one that somebody's posted that you really like, give it a thumbs up and get it to the top because that's the ones I usually look at. And if you want to get your say in on the next th this verse that, you can go ahead and check out my Facebook and Twitter because I ask every Wednesday. And um, other than that, well, I'll see you guys on Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday. I'm going to make a video on Tuesday. You you'll see. Alright. Who the fuck's ready to party? Shit, let's get this out of here. Because the devil doesn't wear underwear. That's a pretty decent analogy, actually. Yes. I, I thought of it while I was taking a shit.